I'm right now outside the Congress headquarters. Uh, a massive melee, a uh, huge media, media contingent. Some of the carders are coming in. The drums are deafening. Inside is my colleague Supriya. Inside uh, uh, where the counting was taking place, where all the senior members of the Congress are. Some of them right now coming out. I can actually see Gaurav Gogoi uh, and uh, the other members uh, of the Congress. Uh, congratulations coming in for Mr. Malik Arjun Kharge. And, uh, well, he is going to be the new party president. Interesting that other than just conceding defeat, uh, what will Mr. Shashi Tharoor say? His team this morning had asked that the UP uh, votes be not counted as there was grave malpractice as per what was alleged by team Shashi Tharoor. However, those votes were counted and uh, when you look at it, the Congress Electoral College, the breakup of that, 80% um, of the votes really nearly come from Uttar Pradesh. But now, that's all in the past. The focus will be on Mr. Tharoor. Um, he's been very graceful till now in terms of conceding defeat. Is he going to come out and openly make allegations against the process? Uh, he's fared better than the last person who faced off 24 years ago against Ms. Sonia Gandhi um, in terms of getting less than 100 votes. He's got just over 1,000 votes. Mr. Kharge has won with a thumping margin of over 8,000 votes uh, against uh, Mr. Tharoor. I'll just give you the figures again, viewers. But the question now, uh, sorry, uh, Mr. Kharge has won with a margin of 7,897 votes, just about uh, the 8,000 mark. Mr. Tharoor has polled uh, 1,072, 416 have been invalid. Total delegates that have polled have been 9,385. A comfortable, more than comfortable, as expected win for Mr. Kharge. The spotlight right now um, on two things, viewers, I would reckon. Number one on Mr. Shashi Tharoor. Um, how will he now take the huge defeat that has been meted out to him? He's already called out the electoral process through his team. He said this earlier that this wasn't a level playing field. Number two, Mr. Kharge, now a non-Gandhi in over two decades, is taking charge even though uh, favoured by the Gandhi, the proverbial unofficial official candidate. Uh, how does he take on the party charge? I believe there are going to be huge changes within the Congress. What's he going to do till now? The Gandhis have not held CW election. Supriya is right now right here with me. Supriya, I believe huge changes are in order, um, at least with what we are getting to understand. Till now, the Gandhis had not held CWC elections. Will that also happen right now with Mr. Kharge coming in? Will, uh, in last time also, the elections for the entire uh, process is to take place, including the CWC members also. But what has happened is that every time, as Mr. Dinesh Gundurao was saying, that a new president comes, he brings in 